You get into any kind of problems, you search for that in Reddit and you get the answer. That's how it works, right? At least in this case too. So let me show you, I have been searching for the internet speed monitor or the speed meter kind of thing in Windows 11, which is gonna work. So right now I got this Reddit post from the answer. I can see there is the GitHub link. I'll put this link in the description. Of course, you can download it from the description and I'll show you how can you set it up properly. Let me show you right now. So first I'm going to open a new tab with this and this is the GitHub post that you will get. Everything almost shows in Chinese and earlier with the Windows 11 video, I showed this to you guys. Some of you may need this in the future for Windows 11. The earlier one was working with Windows 10, but now with Windows 11, that will not work. So we need this new one. So let me actually show you. Do not click on any of these. It won't be helpful to you. It is for the developers, but you need to click on this. The version 1.81 as of right now is the latest, but check out this releases on the right side. Then just click over here. Once you do that, it will open this kind of page and from there download this. Of course, Windows 11 is 64 bit. That's why we need this 64 bit, but this x86 means that that is for the 32 bit versions but we won't really need that. We need the 64 bit version. So that is why I just downloaded this traffic monitor version 1.81 x64 dot zip. You just click on it. It will start getting downloaded. Let me actually show you. I already downloaded it, but yeah, it will download depending on your browser. So once you download that zip file and you open your file manager, then go to downloads. This is the file that you will get the traffic monitor dot zip. So I have already extracted that and this is the folder. So let me just go into it and here is how it looks like. Of course, we have this traffic monitor.exe. This is actually plug and play kind of thing. So you just double click the app will open. Let me show you. So yeah, as you can see, there is already an instance running. So that's why it's showing. But yeah, this is a plug and play kind of thing. You don't really need to install it. But let me actually show you what are the settings for it. So for that, you can see this is where I'm getting the speeds and let me actually open the Brave browser again so that I can show you an actual demo. Let's do a speed test. And right now, as you can see, it is actually showing the speeds right here. I have a 75 Mbps connection. That's why I'm getting about 10 Mbps or megabytes per second over here. And the uploads, as you can see, 9, 9.27, 9.31 megabytes per second the correct bandwidth over here too. So that is cool. Let me actually show you now from where you can get this. So you just click on this arrow right here. And over here we have this. This is the traffic monitor. If you are hovering around your mouse, you can see this is the traffic monitor. Now, if you right click on it, you will get all these settings. Now from here on the top, you can select the network connection, but I do have it on all auto. So yeah, and we have the connection details. If you want to know that, and always on top option is there if you are using a window kind of thing. We have this show main window. Let me show you. This is what you will get by default and disable that for the time being. Show main window. If you click on that again, it will go away. Now from here itself, you can see this show taskbar window. Let me disable that. So if I click on it once, it will get disabled. And if I click on it one more time, as you can see, it gets enabled. So that is really great. And we have the options right here. Let me show you how you can customize it. So this is the main window customization. I'm not going to go into that because I'm not using the main window. And here we have the taskbar window settings. And from here, you can actually customize it. You can change the font from right here. Then you can change the font size. Let me actually increase it so that you can see. I know it will look weird, but let me just show you. And as you can see right now, the font size has increased, but it's getting cut off from the bottom. Put it on 10 and right now it is back to the normal one, normal looking. So yeah, you can customize it even more, but make sure you go into the taskbar window settings from there. You can customize, you can change the text color. If you don't like it, or if you want to have some different colors, you can do that from right here. You can change the background color and background is transparent right now for me. And we have the auto adapt. And of course this will also work in windows 10 too. If you are going to use that, we have some more things and you can change the net speed unit to byte or bit however you want to but this is what i like over here that you can change the unit selection to fixed as kilobytes per second or megabytes per second so yeah it will show you only one unit and in the general settings if you go here we have the check for updates option and then there is two options that I really want to show you that configuration and data files. So this save to program directory simply means that it will have the temporary files that will be created with this because I'm using the internet. So it's constantly getting registered over here that how much internet I have used. 
all those data will be presented in this particular folder itself it won't go into your c drive or something but yeah if you want to put those all your data and stuff in the c drive then select this save to app data directory then it will be in this particular directory you can see from the bottom if you are hovering around the mouse but right now it is getting saved in this particular directory you can see from right here one more thing in the general settings which is very important according to me at least is this auto run when windows starts make sure you have checked that option because afterwards whenever you restart your pc this will be there whenever you restart or whenever you are turning on your pc otherwise you have to open the particular traffic meter app if you don't have this option checked first things first go into the general settings and turn on this auto run when window starts so that you can get this internet speed meter and you don't have to actually manually launch it every time you restart and also if you accidentally click on it it doesn't do anything if you right click on it too it doesn't do anything so that is good and we have this other functions and we have this historical traffic statistics let me show you from here i have used this for two days and you can see my data usage from right here so this is how it looks also you have this calendar view so you can track how much data you have used when so this is really great you can also copy this file to another laptop or something then in there too you will have your data usage so that is really good that you can actually use this with various kind of windows pcs so yeah this is a really great net speed monitor and you can of course download and use it just how i showed you that is pretty much it about this internet speed meter and i'm really liking it as you can see if you want to see the about this is the traffic monitor version 1.81 so if you want this give this video a thumbs up share this video with your friends and then download it from the description and thank you so much for watching this video again and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is Tito from KDNDX signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.